This weekend, President Donald Trump is responding to the firestorm of criticism that was sparked by that new book challenging his fitness to serve. The president issuing a series of tweets saying that he is, quote, like really smart and a very stable genius. CBS 4's Zan Magnum has more. I said, a very excellent student, came out, made billions and billions of dollars, became one of the top business people. Mr. Trump, along with members of his cabinet and some top GOP leaders, held meetings at Camp David to lay out the framework for their 2018 agenda Saturday. In the book, Michael Wolff portrays the president's mental fitness as childlike and the White House as a place of dysfunction and chaos. I have recordings, I have notes, um, I am certainly in absolutely in every way comfortable with everything I've reported in this book. Mr. Trump blamed former chief White House strategist Steve Bannon for allowing Wolf access to the White House and its staffers. I guess uh, sloppy Steve brought him into the White House quite a bit and it was one of those things. That's why sloppy Steve is now looking for a job. Wolf is standing by his book and believes the revelations in it could be the downfall of Mr. Trump's presidency. The story that I've told seems to present this presidency in such a way that it says he can't do this job, the emperor has no clothes, and suddenly, everywhere, people are going, oh my God, it's true, he has no clothes. Mr. Trump calls the book a work of fiction. And Wolf says he spent three hours with the president during the 2016 campaign and in the White House, but President Trump says those meetings never happened.